between Kirby and Majin Buu on the next screw attack that battle. Battle! Attack! Yeah. Anyways, this is your boy, the Shadow 231, and this is my synopsis of the fight between Kirby and Majin Buu. My boy Kirby from Nintendo stands at 8 inches, light as a feather, and it's pink, right? He's pretty much the leader of the Freedom Fighters on Dream Island, or Dreamland, I should say. Dreamland! Kirby is a badass mofo who sucks it all in, right? Literally speaking. That boy is like a cyclone, except he sucks everything in. So he's the opposite of a cyclone. He's more like a black hole that sucks everything in. Everything's small. If it's large items, he needs the power of the mega fruit. At that point in time, Kirby becomes a true black hole. He travels around on a, a warp star and he has the ability to travel faster than speed of light when using the star. Despite his cute looks, he is also really fast, really strong, and very durable. Another uncanny ability is when he's fighting and facing off bad guys, if he sucks in and absorbs our opponent, he could choose to get the ability. Now, when he does this, he gets one distinct ability from the opponent. And statistically, he seems to get the one of the most powerful attacks his opponents have. So, i.e., when Kirby absorbs the ability from an opponent, he gets one of their most powerful moves, if not the most powerful move in their arsenal. He, this is limited to one specific move, so he doesn't get the entire arsenal. So for example, when Kirby absorbs this fire guy, he gets the ability to breathe fire, right? He doesn't get the other guy's other types of moves, but he gets the distinct ability to breathe fire. So that is very crucial in this battle. Moving along, Majin Buu. He is from the Dragon Ball Z franchise, a main villain in the Dragon Ball Z Buu saga. Buu, originally created by Bibidi, who is Babidi's father, is a magical being. He has the ability to fly, superhuman strength, speed, agility, moves faster than the speed of light, and pretty much has no regard to, to life. He's pure evil, right? Except if you count the different forms of Boo, they vary. And he was able to eliminate this one evil seed in the actual Dragon Ball Z saga. But for this battle, which that battle is going to use, they're probably going to use all his different forms. If we go in based off of that, Boo has several different feature, physical features, so it's pretty much hard to say what he's going to look like because he could take the form of a child to pretty much a eight foot tall monster. Who could fire high energy from his hands. He could teleport. He could see others' abilities and mimic them right on the fly. He has the ability to transform enemies into chocolate, which is one of his most powerful attacks. He also has the unique ability to absorb his enemies permanently. And when he does this, he could utilize all of their abilities versus utilizing their most powerful one, right? This gives him a distinct advantage over our friend Kirby, because whereas Kirby is only able to utilize one distinct power from absorbing a bad guy, he doesn't get a size increase or muscular increase or any other types of abilities from that opponent, right? He just gets one ability from them. Whereas when Majin Buu absorbs his enemy, he gets all their memories of their ability to fight. His, their strength is added to his own and he gets all their innate abilities, all of them. In the actual battle, Kirby will definitely struggle out against Majin Buu physically because Majin Buu is physically faster, stronger, and more brutal than Kirby is. Not to say Kirby is going to go down without fighting, right? Kirby is definitely going to try to hit him a few times and try to get, get in there, but Buu would just be too fast for him. With that being said, he'll have no choice but to try to sub Buu in, but since Buu is so much stronger of an opponent than he is, he will not be able to suck him easily without weakening him. So Kirby's last choice would definitely be to either absorb smaller enemies around the area to utilize their powers and abilities against Buu, 
and again with Boo's speed there's no way Kirby could hit him unless Kirby used the warp star which would probably put him close to Boo's speed. Hypothetically speaking, Kirby uses his warp star to attack Boo, right? Slows Boo down and for whatever reason, like is able to suck Boo in, right? That he would only suck Boo in for a few seconds, right? Because Imagine Boo has the ability to break through dimensional barriers. So Boo would easily escape uh, Kirby's pocket dimension and destroy it. The biggest factor that's going to play in this fight is the huge, vast difference in strength and speed. Kirby is very strong and very durable, but he won't be able to be durable enough to take the beating Manji Boo is going to give him. Right? Even if Kirby was to absorb a whole f palette of foods and cakes and ice cream and mega fruits and everything he'll still be beaten down hypothetically speaking let's say for, for shits and grins Kirby eats a mega fruit and absorbs Boo in right Boo again as I said before would just escape and seeing that Kirby's ability to, to suck in anything like that is like an asset he would just absorb Kirby as a matter of fact too Boo could easily just absorb Kirby as he's trying to suck him in. Because as we all saw, Magic Boo could cut off the littlest piece of him. It doesn't have to be that big of a piece and leave it behind to absorb Kirby and utilize his strength and abilities against him. Just is the overall point to this whole topic is that regardless of how we look at this fight, we can look at it several different ways. There's really no way for Kirby to beat Magic Boo unless, hypothetically speaking, he is fast enough to get onto Boo, transform into chocolate by using his own ability against him because he only get one specific ability and then eat him like that. But again, the fact that Magic Boo is a magical creature and we've seen that based on different characters' powers and abilities, like Vegito, for example, with the powers of the power airings, Vegito was able to move around while he was transformed into candy. So with that being said, I could argue that Majin Buu being a magical creature, he might have the uncanny ability to move around while he's transformed into whatever candy bar and stuff because he's a magical creature. And it depends on what version of Buu is. Um, Kirby is fighting Fat Buu. He actually may stand a good chance. Fat Buu is also known as the good version of Buu because he's not as powerful as his other transformations. If, he's, if Kirby is fighting against Super Boo, for sure he doesn't stand any chance whatsoever because Super Boo will end him before he even has a chance to react. If Kirby is fighting against Kid Boo, the same factors apply because Kid Boo would just absorb him, transform into the chocolate, or for shits and grin, just move so fast that he has nothing, um, he can't do anything about it and beat the crap out of him. So if Screw Attack somehow has Kirby beaten Majin Buu, I would love to see how they figure that one out because pretty much all Kirby's powers are pretty much done facing this monster. He can't suck him in because he can escape. Even if he was to suck him with the Mega Fruit to try to keep him down in another dimension, he would just escape because we've seen this in the series itself. Majin Buu is faster than light could teleport, could watch someone's ability and use it against them, he could absorb the person, and could be only could absorb one move, which Majin Buu knows of already, and is fast enough to escape against. Especially with his latent transformations. Uh, again, the only way <laughs> the only way Kirby could actually beat this guy is if for some unknown reason, Boo is stuck in the fat Boo form and he just doesn't know what to do. Yeah, you guys please, like, uh, you tell me what you think about this fight. I honestly think Majin Boo has this hands down. Thank you for watching and yeah, you guys take care. Peace.